Alright, um, for our presentation we get a cute myeloid leukemia, and it is by John McCow and Joey Reed. It is a cancer of the white in blood and bone marrow, which affects the white blood cells. It occurs when a bone marrow develops errors in its DNA. The definition of acute leukemia, the cancer starts in the white blood cells and spreads to the bone marrow. The cells begin to grow and divide too fast. They build up in the blood and then spread. It allows the cell to go through the cell cycle limitless times and then it enables the cells to become resistant to death. It generally affects the spleen, liver, spinal cord, and lymph, lymph nodes. Uh, symptoms are high fever, loss of appetite, easy bruising, recurrent infection, thread spots on skin, shortness of breath, acute leukemia. Acute leukemia causes a shortage of normal blood cells. As a result, people don't have enough white blood cells and red blood cells. This is what causes most of the symptoms. Causes of acute leukemia, smoking is linked with AML, cause of benzene, genetic disorders such as Down syndrome are linked with AML, exposure to radiation, most cases nuclear radiation, DNA mutation is what causes AML exposure to certain chemicals is what causes mutations in our DNA. Smoking and nuclear radiation cause AML because of the harmful chemicals our body takes in from the events. Down syndrome has been traced with AML because of problems in their DNA. I don't think he'll say through it. AML Honestly, can be inherited from but, birth in most cases it develops throughout the person's lifetime it can be inherited from birth if there are genetic syndromes involved but inherited mutations aren't often a problem on um, prevention the easiest way to lower the chances of developing AML is not to smoke cigarettes that contain benzene which is which is one cancer chemical that can cause AML since smoking gives us so many cancerous chemicals it if people stop smoking, it lowers the amount of harmful chemicals in your body, which means cancer is more unlikely to form. Uh, treatments, um, chemotherapy and stem cell transplants. Chemotherapy helps get rid of the leukemia cells and get the blood cell number back to normal. It repeats itself over again until it gets rid of all the small leukemia cells. Uh, diagnosis. Uh, doctors can often use a cat MRI or a PET scan to help diagnose the patient with acute myeloid leukemia. Either a scan works, but doctors prefer to use CAT scans because it's the most reliable. How do scans work? MRI use magnetic fields to produce detailed images of your body. CAT three-dimensional picture of the inside of your body uses x-rays from different angles. PET, a radioactive sugar substance, is injected into the body to help with pictures of your organs and tissue. What kind of people develop AML? Men usually develop AML more often than girls do. People over the age of 65 are more likely to develop AML than younger people. Smokers develop AML more often than non-smokers. Um, there are about 60,300 cases of AML right now. There is around 10,670 deaths from AML. AML accounts for almost 20% of leukemia-related deaths. And those are our resources.